Hi traders, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope all of you are doing good. Uh, in today's video, we are going to learn uh, about Nest. Nest is a software which is used by all professional traders. And uh, what is the benefit of using this uh, software is that uh, you can execute your trades at a lightning speed and uh, you don't uh, miss any opportunity and uh, the execution is pretty fast on uh, nest application and uh, uh, you, you, most of the time when people use browser based uh, trading terminals there is a lot of uh, issues with bandwidth or uh, the system gets hanged at times order is not executed so that's the reason uh, professional traders use nest platform so you can always ask for this platform with your uh, trading broker and uh, some of them charge or some of them also provide it free of cost depending upon the capital and the frequency of the trading what you do so before we get started let's uh, look at the channel what we are having and i have been posting my uh, pnl every week uh, so <clears throat> how have been doing last week monday this was on uh, thursday and this was on wednesday this was on uh, Tuesday so this week has been decent for us and so was the last week so things are going fine in our direction so let's uh, try to continue and try learning together uh, without wasting further time I will take you to nest platform so first and foremost thing is once you download and install the nest platform depending upon uh, the compatible system what you have is it uh, uh, 64 bit or a 32 bit system so you will get a nest icon like this so first and foremost thing what you need to do is you need to right click on this go to properties and uh, go to compatibility in compatibility you will find this so you can see uh, compatibility mode run this program in compatibility mode for windows 8 this is enabled for me how did i enable this and I will also tell you why this is important. Uh, first, you need to go to change settings for all users. And here you have to click on this and this program in compatibility mode. You have everything here. Choose the system which you are using and put, put it there. And also do not forget to click on this run this program as an administrator. Okay. And okay. And apply. Now, why this is important is most of the time you must have seen that uh, whenever you open the net positions or order window, uh, certain things get cut in nest so this will avoid that and it will be a proper rendering of the complete uh, software on so let's click <clears throat> double click on this to open the nest platform My trading is always F1, F2. If I have to buy, it is F1. If I have to sell, it is F2. And I will show you the entire configuration. I don't have to enter limit order, normal order, you know, uh, quantity and everything. It's all predefined. So how you can do it and save time, I will show it to you. now you can see my passwords it's all dots which you can enter and log in into my system so this is the part which nest will take time a little bit of time depending upon the kind of uh, uh, process and the data which has been cached so what are the data I have prescribed is about derivatives, currency, BSC, NSE. So all these things are getting downloaded. So all the codes will get downloaded. So you have to give time to this. So what I follow the routine that every day morning by around 8.30, 8.45, I come and log in into my Nest trading view and my Sher Khan terminal and keep all the charts ready. And uh, the moment reopen completes, our analysis will be ready and then we take the trade basis that 
if you have if you want to be an intraday trader then definitely you have to do all your analysis a day before and you have to be ready with the kind of um, you know a, a obstacle you're going to face next day like whatever market throws at you whether it's whether it's a you know it's a leg spin off spin bouncer you have to be ready with your strategy so that you can play the right shot for it you can see number of nfo scripts downloaded 68672 we can reduce this as well we need to speak to the broker and reduce this so that we can save i'm on this as well so it's ready and loaded now Okay, so the terminal will look. You can see it's crystal clear. Corners are not cutting. It's properly, uh, you know, showing the fonts. That is because we have rendered it according to the uh, Windows 8. So what do we need to do is uh, first thing is we will see what are the options available. So first, refresh markets, refresh clients, login for Nest is a terminal used by. Uh, brokers also because here you can manage multiple accounts into this uh, which will appear here user settings and uh, you can attach multiple clients into this particular terminal so they will give you a similar nest but it will be a little bit of advanced version so what is there in market market you have market watch profile market watch group settings so how does the market watch look for us for example this is this is how you search for example what i do is uh, the moment uh, i come for a fresh expiry what i'll do is i will see bank nifty 25th november uh, and i go and see uh, what is the at the money for me So this is for 25th number what we are seeing so what is at the money it's about 38,000 so what I do is uh, I usually prefer going in the money till uh, 37,500 so I'll start from 37,500 call what I do is simply enter go down arrow up it's so easy to add now I will add till 40, 50 rupees of premium. And this is also all uh, set. These columns are already set. So I will show you how to do that. So now I'm saving this group. Similarly, I'll do it for puts. This is a particular uh, strategy which I follow. That's the reason I am adding all the option strikes. So what I do is I start from 38,500. So I'll start from 38,500 put and this I have to do up arrow. Five four three two one zero nine eight. Okay, so this is also plotted. Now we can save all the groups. So once I click on save all groups, it all changes. And if I have to realign these columns, Okay, I can click on reposition columns in open groups. So I can do it at one shot for all the tabs which I have, all market watches, or I can do it only for this column. So I'll click on reposition columns in open groups. So these are the columns which are available for me. And if I want to add something or delete something or move something away, I can just simply say, uh, 
for example you have uh, if we have to uh, let's add one column and try to delete it let's say volume traded today we'll add this we save it gets saved all groups so this is saved in all groups now you can see it will be available uh, in the similar fashion see volume will be available in all groups whatever I have created so you can see everywhere it is added so similarly if I have to do deletion reposition columns then I delete this go back here and save so I just have to save all groups again this will be completely deleted gone okay so these this is something basic way how to you can how you can choose an ad you can choose normal or spread you can choose nfo nsc bsc cds everything here and then choose the strike or a stock whichever is available you can add so now in market these are the settings uh, most of the times you don't use all of this uh, what we generally use order entry buy order sell order so that is f1 f2 for us and we have basket orders basket order is useful if you are putting a butterfly strategy you can put it at once or if you are selling call put at the same time you can do it in a click of a button after market market orders are available here you can put here cover cover order gain bracket order so now what i simply do is when i click on f1 this window pops in with all predefined limit option index bank 50 call with mis i just have to click enter it goes as an order so it will take split second time for me to f1 and enter it goes like this with the password is only for the first time but later once you enter the password all the trades are executed quickly and also you can put in your own formula here like open high if you want to see which are the strikes which has open high you know, I have designed this formula here. Uh, you can use it. Edit custom columns. So what you can do is actually you can see what it is there. I've just taken high minus open. So high column is there with us. Open column is there with us. You just have to create one more column which says high minus open. So high minus open. If this becomes zero, then it is a simple formula for you to understand. It is open and high are equal similarly you can do for open and low so you can add your custom columns here which are very useful in your intraday trading and then coming to the order settings order book is f3 trade book net positions alt f6 rms limits you can check the limits here okay so you will be able to see the limits when the market is open so today being a holiday it will not display so coming to the most important point uh, like pain payout uh, is available here user settings this is the most important thing which you need to spend maximum time when you're configuring your nest so what we do is first we go to our order window here we say select our exchange like nsc so if you can see set number of market lots one so my default order comes as 25 quantity for one lot if i increase this if I put it to so then it will come as 50 so by default whenever I place an order if I press F1 125 quantity will be punched in if I want to change that I can do that so I have kept everything here I have put normal order type limit okay this is for my uh, default settings enable price range from order entry to window and my focus will be always on order price so that I can change single click to place order has to be clicked close order entry dialog after placing the order check for order quantity during modification of the order so these are the settings which you need to enable so that whenever you click here this appears like this okay so this is for nsc stock orders if i have to do nfo this is all nfo part of nfo so you can see mis mis limit order day quantity one so if I change quantity tool, let's see what happens. Now you are seeing 25, right? I'll say apply and 
then you see if I click on F1 the quantity will be 50 and the price is all focused so I'll put 50 here and try to enter immediately so the order will go with lightning uh, speed so this is how you actually trade always have this enable price range order click single click to place order close order entry dialog after placing the order so you are not confused if the uh, dialog box is open then you will get confused whether it's placed or not so keep uh, closing it uh, which has actually helped me you can uh, try your own method and uh, basket manager this year i don't do much uh, you can actually put it as mis or uh, you know normal this is a completely up to, up to you basket order usually uh, ba based on value based on quantity these are all uh, no, not much of an important order type is default so generally we play around with the uh, order window only here this is the most important so for every segment you can set up your own rules and uh, then work accordingly there are multiple options pick from market watch from market watch it will pick from there uh, you can configure it in percentages but don't use too much of this so that you can get confused so simply we see the order window like this pressing f3 and then we have our uh, usually i used alt f6 to see my positions day wise net wise or mis it will appear here i hope the recording is on okay so now coming to preferences we have done toolbar settings menu icon uh, I will show you one more thing in net positions also whenever you want to have this MTM highlighted you can always set font for this by clicking here so you can slightly have a higher font higher color you can change everything and here also you can reposition columns whichever columns you don't want you can remove from this and shuffle the things as per your convenience what exactly you want to see when you are trading is it BP sell average price, buy average price, last average. I want, I mostly, if, uh, I keep looking at net quantity and then market to market, last trader realized how much is that. And if I have to square up some position or exact quantity, I click on this. Otherwise, it will be price, just click and square off. If I have to square off all uh, open position, I will select all and then square off. If I have to convert something, then I choose and convert. So that is how. You do that at a very fast pace because uh, intraday trading is very you know, time uh, constrained and you have to be right on top of it you cannot uh, leave any room for error and always quickly put your stop loss for me putting stop loss is pretty easy the moment i enter my order here i click on this order and press f1 immediately my uh, Sell if I have a buy position, if I click F1, my sell order will appear. Then I choose SL. Uh, let me just show you. Like example, it will appear like this. So I'll choose SL. I will enter the price and the trigger price. Always use price and trigger price for options. For stocks, you can put a fixed number, but price, if it is 322 and 323, use like this so that. It will not jump your order it will always execute in between this some people can use a uh, little wider spread also 322 to 325 so that you can get your order executed in between this range so don't put specific price there is a possibility that price can jump always avoid that admin position you will get to see all your positions for the day here you can right click and export write data to excel if you want to write this data so always have that habit by end of the day you should always right click and write data to excel so that you can analyze your trades and this will also help you in terms of logging your trades in the uh, ledger what you're maintaining and the moment you know this looks so beautiful and so professional that the moment the market opens up you will see all the colors changing and uh, you know the colors also can be set from here like 
appearance what is the background color you can put uh market watch color c for example positive is blue for me negative is red for me background is black so it will all keep popping and whenever i see any trend change that will you know you can mark it as a different color so all that can be done you can do it even on this window uh, you can customize this window as well from background and you know what color do you want to see what is that uh, you want to modify your custom columns you can modify your or you can set trend columns positive is green or negative is red and background if you want to click so any any cell if you specifically want to see for me market to market i have clicked and i have kept this color so that whenever market to market is green or red i will come to know whether it is going up or down so it is pretty decent for me but these are some basic settings you should have in nest and have this set up properly so that you don't have any confusion in terms of executing your order lot of people end up making losses because they have not defined their system properly now the moment i have to take a buy buy trade i'll take like this if i have to sell i'll sell like this so it doesn't take much of a time for me my analysis and everything comes from the trading view which i watch here you know the moment i see something like this i go for uh, 38 400 put and immediately i can buy 38 400 put here just click f1 punch the order that's it this price will get picked up from this ltp last traded price and immediately your order will be executed and then you go back and see what was the stop loss you can put i also look at option charts for stop loss which is which is quite helpful but always do this and uh, nest usually uh, it doesn't uh, take much of the bandwidth and it is continuously connected if it is disconnected also it gets refreshed back so you don't have to worry but uh, one broker one terminal is allowed if you open it if you open the web browser plus this it will not work for you so always have nest open or the web browser open so that your orders get executed properly otherwise you will have a problem uh the one open high which i have included is very useful try to use this open high and open low you can create this custom columns and use it so that's it for this week guys this this is only for nest or terminal how to use it most of the people struggle with the settings and uh, i have shown the settings for you today which are very helpful and uh, you know i hope you watch this video again and again to actually copy the settings which are shown so please do comment write and uh, if you have any queries you can always uh, reach out to me on my telegram channel thank you so much for watching and have a great day